Welcome to Grade 9 Maths, our second lesson in the sequence. There's a little uh, question on the board there. You can have a go at Just pause the video and come back when you're done. So you're manager of a fast food store. You can be permanent or you can be casual. So as casual, you're earning a wage. You're only paid for the hours you show up and you're getting that much per hour. All right. Uh, if you're a permanent staff, you're going to get this salary for the whole year. All right, and that's what you get paid for the whole year. So how much do you work each standard week? And as we said last lesson, standard week's 38 hours. So in a, as a casual, that much times 38 hours equals, if I get my calculator, 38 hours times 26.04 is $989.50. Two cents. Now, in this, in the permanent one, I get 51,000, just over 51,000 PA per annum per year. I want it in weeks, divided by 52 weeks. Oops, that's a two, not a five. Sorry about that. So, divided by 52 weeks, so that's 51, 371, divided by 52 in your trusty little calculator. It's going to be dollars, so it's 987.90 or thereabouts. So, which is better? Well, it depends what you want. The casual obviously gets paid slightly more. However, the permanent staff gets other advantages that the casual doesn't get. In Australia, the permanent staff is going to get 10 days of sick leave, okay? If you like, and you'll also get four weeks of holidays that's four weeks of the year that you don't have to show up to work but you still get paid this much so if you're doing other things such as studying perhaps being a casual might be the way to go if this is your job to earn an income and you want a regular income and you want security being permanent's nice so if it's based on money casual does better if it's based on other things, there might be other factors why permanent is actually a better option for you. Okay, what are we doing today? We're going to talk about piecework and commission. Don't forget from last lesson, this is the uh, homework that I gave you. Go to your parents and ask them, where, do they, where is their super kept? And they'll probably have to look it up. Most people don't necessarily know off the top of their head. Ask your employer, where's my superannuation kept? What's our fund that we use? All right, great, that one. How many funds do I have? And usually the easiest way to answer this is, how many different jobs have you had where you've earned income? And the last one you'll definitely have to ring up about because a lot of people don't know off the top of their head. What are the fees? And when you ring up your fund and say, how much money do I have in my fund? What are the fees? They'll give you a percentage because that sounds nice. Oh, it's only 3% fees, which incidentally is a lot but what does that work out in dollars per year that they take out of your account? Have a conversation with them about it. All right, we're on to this little bit here in our plan. Don't forget coming up next week, there is an online quiz that is there if you wanna have a go at that one. If you get to it uh, this week, that's great. Today we're looking at piecework and commission. All right, as always, I suggest you have a look at these questions as a bit of a minimum all right if you're heading towards a B or an A then you need to do the bigger questions the harder ones that are further on in the exercise right our piecework it's a system of payment where you paid a fixed amount for each job or task you do think about you run a stall at the markets you make certain items you get paid for every item you make because you sell each item so the more items you make the more you sell, the more, you, more money you get. If you're an artist, you will get paid per painting that you're actually painting. That's getting paid in piecework. Sometimes you can get paid on a sliding scale where the number of things that you make or tasks you complete, um, as, as it goes up, the rate of pay starts to change. We'll look at some examples of that in a minute. Um, for some, sometimes piecework, you get paid for multiple items rather than single items. Like an artist gets paid per painting, for example. But this example here of letterbox deliveries, you might be paid for 1,000 deliveries that you actually do. 
Um, this bloke here washing his car, he gets paid by piecework because he gets paid per car. He doesn't get paid for washing half a car. He gets paid per whole car that he actually washes. These guys working in the factory here might get paid per garment that they're making in there. This woman's obviously making some items to sell at a, at a fair or something like that. This bloke here doing deliveries, he gets paid per delivery. That's piecework. Let's look at an example. Mitchell's got a job washing cars. He's paid $5.20 per car washed. Calculate the amount that he earns in an afternoon when he washes 24 cars. That sounds like a lot of work. That much per car, that many cars. We multiply them together, we'll get our answer. He washes 24 cars, $5.20 per car, he makes $124.80. Put a dollar sign in front of it, that's what he earns. It's that simple. Angelic is a machinist, gets paid in the clothing factory. She gets $4.28 per garment for the first 180 garments. $5.35 is what she gets thereafter, or everything beyond. So for item number 181, she gets paid $5.35 instead of $4.28. Righto, she makes 223 garments. So what we need to know is how far is there between 180 and 223, because that's what she gets at the higher rate of pay. She's obviously made 180 at the lower rate of pay. Let's work this out. So subtract 180 off 223, she makes 43 extra garments at that higher rate of pay. And that's this bit here, 43 times $5.35 is what she gets for that higher rate of pay. But then there's the first 180 she makes where she gets $4.28. Plug them into calculator, work out this one first, work out this one second, then add them together, just over $1,000 she earns. And here we put a dollar sign in front of it, she earns $1,000. You can just put your dollar sign in there, that's a good enough way to answer the question. But it's got to have a dollar sign in because she's earning money. All right. Holly delivers brochures, what she get? She gets $43 per 1,000 brochures. How much does she earn when she delivers 3,500 3, brochures? She gets paid per 1,000. If she's delivering 3,500, all right, divided by 1,000, that's 3.5 lots of the 1,000 she's delivering, and each of those gets her that much. How's that work out? So 3.5 thousand brochures, that's what it says there, multiplied by 43 bucks per 1,000, which is a wacky dollar sign in there, $150.50 she earns. That's a lot of walking though, three and a half thousand brochures. She's probably covering a lot of ground to earn that $150. All right, you have a short break. You can lie down like Emmett is there on the beach before we have a look at the next bit. Commission. Commissions are paid is usually to um, salespeople, usually a percentage of whatever you're selling. Sometimes you get paid a retainer, which is a small fixed wage, plus a commission on top, okay? Sometimes there's different rates of the commission. It's, it, it, it's broken up into different parts. Um, real estate salespeople often get this, car salespeople often do this, even employees in, in retail shops like places like Harvey Norman can sometimes be employed under this sort of system. Let's have a look. Muhammad's a songwriter. He gets 12% of all sales of his music. If he, uh, and this is obviously old, let's say he downloads, music's downloaded and he sells it to the value of $150,000. So he sold his songs that he wrote sold $150,000. He gets 12% of it. What we are working out is 12% of 150,000, okay? Now, we don't put 12 into the calculator. 12% 12 means 12 per 100, 12 over 100. Of means times and 150,000. That's how we do these questions. Any percentage is over 100, of means times, whatever the amount is that it gave us in the question. That's how we do them. So in Mr. Calculator, what does this look like? It looks like 12 divided by 100 
times 150,000 equals dollars. And it's got to be dollars. That's how your setting out looks like. This bit here is your setting out. Let's have a look at their answer. So 12 over 100 is 0.12. If you know that, just write that down. And it's $18,000 in royalties he gets. Where does the rest of it go? Probably to the uh, record company to pay for the cost of producing it and marketing it and, and, and their profit. Gemma's a car salesperson. She's repaid a retainer of 350 a week. And then she gets a commission of 8% of the profits made by the cars that she sells. So she gets this 350 a week as a retainer. If she's sick the whole week, she doesn't go to work, she doesn't sell any cars, she still gets the 350 bucks. But then she makes more money by selling cars. So in A here, how much money does she make when no sales are made? She gets her retainer. 350. In the next part, she's uh, $5,000 of um, sales she's got. So we want to know she gets 8% of $5,000. How do I write 8%? Of is times 0 0.08 is what that is, times 5,000. All right, this line's not necessary. Either of these lines is fine to write down, and this one is definitely necessary. So 8% of 5,000 is $400. So that's more than what her uh, retainer was. So the retainer plus the commission, 350 was the retainer, 400 is the commission. She gets $750. Real estate agent gets 2% commission on the first $300,000 of a sale. All right, so the first $300 of the house they sell, 2% of $300,000, and then 3% on the remainder. Now, the sale is $380,000. So here's the first $300,000. She then gets 3% of what's left. What's left? Oops, 380 is what it's sold for, 380,000 minus 300,000 must be $80,000 left over. Should be starting to look familiar now. What does that look like? Dollars, dollars, okay? This here is the uh, Lego house out of um, James May's Toy Stories. Kind of a cool, if you haven't seen that, I suggest you go and look at it, where he built a whole Lego house with the little, the cat and mouse and, 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 and windows. He's got a newspaper down the bottom there. There's even chairs that they built and everything, and this is a bed, it's kind of cool. I suggest you go and check it out. Here's his kitchen down here, chopping board, uh, toaster and kettle and all that stuff. There's a, a sink in the middle there. He's even got slippers. And you can see the other picture there where they're starting to uh, do some framework to, to help get the house built. It was kind of a cool show. James May's Toy Stories, totally recommended. What are we doing here? So we work out 380 minus 300 is $80,000 at the higher rate of pay, 300 at the lower rate of pay. 2% of $300,000 is 6,000. 3% of 80 is 24. We add it together. So the total commission is $8,400. And that's all there is to it. All right. Thanks for coming today. Have a crack at those other exercises. Remember what these guys are telling you on the screen here. Practice questions. C standard. Consolidate is good C. I want to move forward and get onto the mastery stuff if you want to head towards a B or an A. Okay, and notice how the questions change. It only goes up to question 11. We add in more. We add in everything from 11 to 16. That's how it gets harder, and that's how you know where you're aiming for. All right, thanks for coming.